Hi guys, my name is Ali Bas, and you are watching my channel, The Training Temple. So in this video today, I am back again with another video on English grammar. In this video, we will be studying about nouns. And if you remember correctly, you will know that my very first video was about nouns. So in this video, we will be going into more detail about what nouns are and a few more types of nouns. All right then let's start to start off this lecture let's remember first what a noun is a noun is a word that is used to name a person place or thing a thing can be something we can taste touch see hear or basically feel and it can also be something that we know that is there like an abstract idea but we cannot perceive it with human senses like you know touch smell sight etc all right so let's get on to the types first type is collective noun collective nouns are used to refer to a group of things a flock of birds a choir of singers these nouns are not pluralized even though they are a group of things all right and an article is used in front of them mostly so that's a choir a flock an article is used second type countable nouns countable nouns are those nouns which can be counted which like they're not infinite they can be counted easily such as there is a man at my front door or i have a few books things like that so basically you can count these things they are not infinite these can be pluralized and they have an article in front of them all right third one is uncountable nouns uncountable nouns are those which cannot be counted these things often are like they they're not pluralized they are not and it's best not to use an article and the type is like there is some water there is a bit of water in the glass and my mother uses real butter in her baking these sentences have uncountable nouns you don't know how much water you don't know how much butter you can't count it you know how much but you can't count it all right so the fourth type is compound nouns so basically we can get compound nouns by adding two words there are three types of compound nouns open or spaced compound nouns in these compound nouns there is a space between the two words this tennis shoe there is a space second one there is hyphenated there is a hyphen between the two words so six pack there is a hyphen in between that and third type is close and no space bedroom there is no space so basically there are many ways to form a compound noun you can add a verb and a noun a noun and a verb a noun and a noun a noun and a preposition here are a few examples noun plus noun bus stop football fire fly and um verb ing plus noun dressing table dressing room and adjective plus noun full moon verb plus preposition check out these are the ways in which you can make a compound noun that's all for today bye guys